hey, Miles Nolan here. And there is a problem today, okay? It is body language. My body language is bad sometimes, yours is bad sometimes. I just want to take you back to a time when I was coaching in a summer collegiate baseball league. I'm not going to tell you who this guy was, or what league it was, or what team. But I'm sitting there in his office, and me and the other coach were sitting there in a meeting with this kid who had been just a total deadbeat. And uh, we're saying, we're, we're going to have to get rid of this kid with all the stuff he's done, how lazy is it, he is, how, how bad his attitude is. And so what happens is GM of this, this team, in the summer collegiate baseball team, he thinks he's George Steinbrenner. So he takes over the entire meeting when we were supposed to be the ones running it, and we talked about that beforehand. So I'm sitting there like, yeah, this is awful. Man. And he's telling this kid, well, you know, I know you can do better. We're going to put you back on this team. You're going to do great. And this kid had already screwed up, totally disobeyed our authority. It was not going to work out. He took over this meeting, took it out of the hands of the coaches. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, just rolling my eyes, doing everything, because I can't stand to listen to this guy anymore. And out of nowhere, this guy just goes nuts, explodes this GM at me, the guy that he hired. Okay, He screams at everybody, get out of the room veins are popping out this old guy and I'm like oh gosh and they're all freaking out like what is, where did this come from he's like, sit down he's screaming at me I mean I thought the guy was gonna have a heart attack veins are bulging out I thought he was literally getting shaken I thought he was gonna come over the desk at me and try to kill me <laughs> I mean it was nuts and so I'm sitting there and I this is totally uncalled for he's like I have my PhD I got it in psychology and my specialty was in reading facial expressions and I was like, oh boy, it's the wrong guy to have bad body language with. So he comes at me and he's going nuts. I think he's going to fight me. And so finally I'm sitting here thinking, well, A, I could flip out on him like I should. And I'll get fired and I won't have a job for the summer. Or I could just wear it and say I'm sorry. You know, and make my 2000 bucks or whatever it was for the summer. So I really needed money at the time, so I just wore it. But the, that thing just shows you never know who's watching Okay. So your players are always looking at you to see how you're going to act when something goes wrong, how you act around fellow coaches, players. They can tell what you're thinking, and you have to put on an order of believing in them and having confidence in your team. The same game, the same thing goes for them. I mean, you got to show them and tell them that confidence in body language is important. A lot of times kids are very unaware of this, and you can look at them and tell that they do not believe in themselves, that they are down, that they do not feel that they're going to play well. And there's so many negative messages that they get from coaches, from parents, that they tell themselves, and, and baseball is such a game of failure. We have to give them positive directions and tell them, hey, you're walking around like your dog. Let's go pick it up. Walk around like you own the place. You want to constantly be pumping guys up and tell them that they are better than whoever they face because they have to truly believe that. Because if they do that, they keep telling themselves they are good, they are really talented, and they're better than that next guy, even if they don't believe it when they're telling themselves that, they'll start to believe it. They'll start to develop that confidence that they need to succeed on the field and succeed in life. This translates over. You've got to believe and you got to put off the aura that you know what you're doing. And eventually, you'll start to believe that you know what you're doing. And that's how the kids are successful. That's how you're going to be successful in leading them. So check yourself at the door and, and pay attention to the body language. Give kids feedback on it constantly because this plays in directly to how well they play.